going on, everybody? My name is Dave with Beast Bets, the coolest prop channel in the world. We have six picks for a prize picks card for you. We went four and two last night, as you can look at my card to my right here. Um, Wendell Carter Jr. let us down. We needed him to get three more points than he did. He only had 14. We had him over 16 and a half. Uh, and Russell Westbrook, only two assists. Very surprising there. So, I digress. We're going to get that broom out today, and we're going to sweep it right off our card, get six of them, and 25x our money. That's the goal. We got beautiful props. We got great projections, great discrepancies. I got great people watching, and that's all of you. So just smash that like and the subscribe, and let's get right into today's picks. Let's go. All right, first up, guys, we're going to the points category. We're taking Jalen Brunson. His points prop is 23 and a half. He's going over this in three of his last five, averaging 26. Uh, I'm seeing some models, not in my projections. I seem to be projecting him much higher than I see around the industry, at least this early in the morning. Um, I haven't projected for 25 points. That's two and a half points, guys. Uh, one and a half point discrepancy, sorry. And uh, I just don't, I don't see this is very low for Jalen Brunson points. We're going to take the over. Um, not concerned with this one. I'm very confident in it. I, I'm guessing that that some of these models are coming out like this because of the tough Miami matchup. Unbeknownst to me, we're taking the over on Jalen Brunson. Points, 23 and a half. Next up, sticking to points, Kevin Love. Seven and a half points. He's averaged 8.6 over his last five games. Going over this in three of his last five. I haven't projected for nine and a half points coming out of my model, guys. So that's another two-point discrepancy. Throwing the hook away. I have 9.5 coming out of my model. So, we're taking the over on Kevin Love points. Should be a good game. Should be a very good game. I'm excited to watch that one. Next up, guys, Damian Lillard. Uh, and it's creeping back up. And I don't really understand why the points prop is creeping up like it like it is now. But um, it is. Playing Utah. Laurie Markkinen's out. Damian Lillard's only averaged 29 points. Eight points over his last five games. Now, I say only because that's tremendous, and we already know what a baller he is. Um, however, I have Damian Lillard projected for only 31 points, and that's a generous projection in my model. Um, that's going above a season average, and I think that's taking into consideration um, the injuries on Utah. But I digress. Two of points prop. We're taking the under. Smash it. I love it. I, I don't see him going over this. Now, granted, we know he can go out and score 70 points, but we're going to take the under on Damian Lillard, 36 and a half points. Let's go. Another prop now, sticking with points, guys. They're just feeding us too many of these points props this morning to pass up. Um, And I love this one. I love this one. Right here, guys. If I can find it. There it is. DeMar DeRozan, 22 and a half points. He's averaged 31 and a half, 31.6 over his last five games. Playing a tough Philly team, we know this, but DeMar DeRozan's been playing huge minutes, and he's been balling, and he's been scoring. So, we have him projected for 26 points, guys. That's three and a half point discrepancy. Lock it in. Smash it in. I feel like a lot of these props, I feel Jalen Brunson's going to go up during the day. DeMar DeRozan's going to go up during the day, and I think Kevin Love's going to go up during the day. You might see, also, you might see Damian Lillard come down. So, just like we were shorting something. Let's get in early, guys. Let's get in early on uh, on shorting Damian Lillard before they drop his prop even lower. I'd say that thing probably closes at game time at least at 35 and a half. So let's move on to our next prop. We're going to free throws. Yeah, I'd love to give some fantasy props. They just don't have it early, early in the morning. What, what time is it? Six o'clock in the morning right now. So. They don't have the fantasy score props out until later, and that's just because uh, they like to know a little bit more what's going on, and they don't want to put stuff up and then be taking them down. I also wanted to mention, guys, if, if we have these props on underdog, obviously you can play them on underdog also. Uh, if I don't have time in the morning to get to an underdog video, you can certainly look and use these correlating props on underdog uh, and even find the discrepancy there. You know what I mean? Like we always talk about. So we're taking Michael Porter, and we're taking free throws, one and a half, He's averaged 1.8 over his last five games, going over this in four of his last five games. I haven't projected for three free throws. Add my model, taking the over. 
Last but not least, sticking with free throws. And this is, this is just very, very high to me. I mean, I understand it because of his average, but I haven't projected for seven free throws, guys. That's one and a half point discrepancy. Um, eight and a half is his prop. He's gone over this in three of his last 10, averaging 10, but I haven't projected for seven free throws. That's one and a half point discrepancy, guys. Again, like I said, Anything like that. Anything I've seen, we're not pushing any lines here today. We have clear two, three, and more than that point discrepancies in our props. So we like all of these. Let's hop over before I let you guys go. Jalen Brunson, over 23.5 points. Kevin Love, over 7.5 points. Damian Lillard, under 36.5 points. DeMar DeRozan, over 22.5 points. Michael Porter Jr., over 1.5 free throws made. And Jimmy Butler, under 8.5 free throws made. There's your picks, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited to give two of these sweatshirts out tomorrow uh, and get some let's get some Beast, Bay, uh, Beast Beds gear out there. Man, I'm excited. Anyways, I got that and I got t-shirts also. Hats. The whole nine yards. But you're only going to get it if you're subscribed. So we'll be doing that drawing tomorrow in the morning. And uh, let's go. Have a great hump day. Tell somebody you love them. Give them a hug. Do something nice for somebody. Buy them a coffee or something. Love you guys.